Hello, welcome. We've got a tricky problem here. It's one that I think uh, is easy to get right by luck. And I think that, in fact, when I first solved this problem, I might have gotten it correct, but maybe my methodology was more lucky than anything else. And a student helped me figure that out. So thanks to that student, we're going to revisit this problem. Uh, so try it on your own, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. OK, so let's read the problem. It says, according to a pricing website, there are these phones, and they lose 58% of their cash value over 1.5 years. Which expression can be used to estimate the value of a $300 phone in 1.5 years? So we're going to ignore that, Ignore for a second that it's called Android. I think that's funny, right? Um, but anyway, so getting past that. Here is an opportunity to use a formula that comes up a lot in compound interest and also for a losing value. It's uh, my students refer to it as the PERT formula, which reminds them of the shampoo PERT. And in this formula, we've got P, which is a principal, an amount we're starting with. R is a rate, uh, it could be a rate of growth, a rate of loss. T is the time over which it's happening. And A of T is the amount that we have over a given time. So it tells you how much money you have or in this case, the value of something um, over time. And what do we know? We know P. We know P is 300. That's our principal. It's our starting value of our phone. We know we're using a model of E. We don't know the rate. Be careful there. That's what threw me off. 58%, right? It's a loss of 58%, but that's over 1.5 years. So we want to figure out, we could figure out what that is per year, right? And we, and we know that, well, if you plug in 1.5 years, we know that the value has gone from 300, has gone down 58%. So let's figure that out for a moment. Let's see what value should we get here. What should this equal? Well, 300 times 1 minus 0.58, you're losing 58%. And what's that going to give you? It's going to give you 300 times 1 minus 0.58 is 0.42. And I just did this on my calculator, so I thought memorized that it's $126. That just tells me that the well, the value of the phone, A of T, after all that time, should be 126. So now, you could just go through all these expressions and see which of them actually gets you $126. But I want to help you go beyond that. I want you to find, be able to find the rate uh, per year, not per 1.5 years, so you can extend this problem and deal with anything they throw at you. So let's solve for r. I'm going to divide 126 by 300. In fact, divide both sides by 300. And what happens? Well, 126 out of 300, that is 42%. So it's 0.42. That's what we just found. And it equals e to the 1.5 times r. And what I want to do is figure out what R is. How do we do that? Well, we take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 0 0.42 is going to equal 1.5 R. This goes back to an idea. That the natural log of this is just the exponent. And that is the definition of a log. All right, so what do we do next? Well, the natural log of 0 0.42 divided by 1.5, that will give us our rate. So let's pull that up on a calculator. So we've got the natural log of 0.42. We're dividing it by 1.5, and it tells me the rate. So look at this. This is where the estimation comes in and why often in this problem I think people are getting lucky with it. Uh, the rate is actually very close to 0.58 or 58%. So whether you assume this is a year, this 58%, or its actual value, you're going to get pretty close values. So I'm going to say that R is about negative 0.578333. I'll leave it at that, actually. R equals negative 0.578333. Well, what are we doing here? Well, the idea is that they want to know which, which expression shows you what the phone will be worth in 1.5 years. So if you, you have an equation now, A of T equals 300 times E to the negative 0 0.578333 T. And if you plug in now, 
if you plug in 1.5 for t, you're going to get um, negative 0.578333 times 1.5. You get negative 0.87, this number here. Pretty close to it, not exact, but close. And that's going to be our answer. Now, all again, what, what we've done here, we come up with a generic formula for the situation and found our rate, <coughs> excuse me, even though we're not given that rate. And that could be pretty powerful for any kind of problem they give you. But if, but if that was like, oh, I don't know, I think that was too much for me. Well, if you know that you're losing 58%, calculate what that equals. In this case, it's 126. If you can get there, you can then go through each choice and see which of these four actually gets you a value of 126. All right, I hope this helped.